I'm pretty sure my clownfish have got anger issues. They have very recently started to be incredibly aggressive. This is my Fluval Shaker Aquarium. And it's kind of weird because it's the one tank that I have been most unhappy with for my entire aquatic career, if you can call it that. This has been the tank which has upset me the most. And not because of the tank. The tank's great, the cabinet's great, the equipment I'm using is fantastic, but it's taken two years to get anywhere like how I wanted it to be. And that's a little lesson in just being patient, I think, with marine tanks. But now it's settled down, we can see the big problem. No longer is the hair algae the issue, but just like in most tanks, these little orange and white stripy uh, beeps are starting to become their own sort of problem. Now, it's nice really because it means that they're happy, but more and more increasingly, they've been getting aggressive. Now, of course, now I'm doing it on camera, they won't because that would be too much to ask. But you can see when I'm in here, having a clean, this one will very often have a bite. I think it's because they're breeding or they're about to breed, which is really quite nice. They won't do it now, obviously. But yeah, I think if you've owned clownfish before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. They can get quite aggressive. They are a damselfish. Let's not forget. Oh, no way. Honestly. Oh my God. Right, so I didn't actually know that before starting the video that <laughs> the, re <laughs> the reason that they are getting aggressive is because they've got eggs. Oh my God, hang on, I need to turn my, uh, let me just sort something out. So that is incredible because this video was not supposed to be about clownfish eggs, but look, they are a proud mummy and daddy clownfish. That explains everything then, because I was cleaning this tank out earlier and I, they kept biting me and I was like, oh my God, I hate clownfish so much. Which is, you know, kind of true. I, I love clownfish, I mean, don't get me wrong, but also as soon as you put a clownfish pair or even a single one, like a big maroon clown or something in a tank or a system, you know that within a couple of months, they're gonna start biting your hand as soon as you go in there. But look, we've got eggies. So the reason I haven't noticed them before is because they've actually hidden them directly behind this Kenyan tree. And I never, look at my tank from this very very obscure angle unfortunately it also means that my camera just doesn't want to focus on them but you can see you can just about see them waving around at the back there and they are they're doing their little thing where they suck on them and keep them clean and fan them and everything so that's super cute. I mean, the chances of the eggs in here surviving is gonna be zero because of course, well, I don't know actually, there is an anemone, isn't there? So maybe they'll go in the anemone. This is very cool. This is not it's entirely not what I was expecting when I started my camera up, but this is really cool. So there is an anemone in there. You can see it there. And we've got some um, palizoas as well. You can see them having a go. That might be uh, the answer and they might survive in that anemone because they are very aggressively defending it and that's the reason why earlier today I had to move my long nosed butterfly out of that tank you can see his fins a bit ripped up um, because I guess he maybe was trying to eat the eggs and then these clownfish just came along and was like no thank you smack so clownfish really really annoying but super cute and soon to be proud parents. This is gonna be a story we're gonna to have to follow closely. I have had clownfish do eggs before in a tank I've run, but um, see how angry she is. She, that must be the female, then the, obviously the larger one. And then that's the male there. 
he's the one doing all the egg cleaning, isn't he? I think that's how it works. The male does all the work. The female just gets super, super angry at everybody else. Do you know what? I haven't actually looked at this tank at all. I've been working so hard and I've been on holiday. Um, so maintenance of this tank has been pretty minimal. I've been topping up the evaporation. I've been cleaning the glass. Uh, and the whole purpose of this video was to be like, hey, look at my Flevo shaker that I do no maintenance on, really. And it's actually looking really nice now. So maybe the secret to fish keeping is do absolutely nothing but the bare minimum. Um, I mean, the clowns seem to have liked it. Maybe because I've not been in the tank so much. That's why they have um, responded so well. Yeah, maybe. Okay, well, I'll get back to you on that. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.